Yeah, welcome to uh, today's class. In this class, we are going to discuss what already done the board headline problems on non homogeneous differential equations. Up to the three classes, we discuss only homogeneous differential equations. Means in this uh, differential equation, q of x is not equal to 0. q of x is not equal to 0, then such type of uh, differential equation is nothing but non homogeneous differential equation. But whenever uh, q of x is not equal to 0, in such cases, what is general formula for the general solution is? Dependent variable, suppose dependent variable is y equals to complementary function plus particular integral. You must be find out particular integral whenever q of x is not equal to 0. Now, q of x is not equal to 0 means q of x may be exponential function, may be a trigonometry function, uh, may be a, a product of exponential into trigonometry, or may be a polynomial, etc. But in your course, involved only two types of functions. One is, suppose q of x is equal to exponential function, maybe a trigonometry. Especially trigonometry, they mention very clearly in your syllabus, either sin ax or maybe cos ax, sin or cosine functions. Only two functions are expecting in the q of x. Either q of x may be an exponential function instead of x and exponential function that may be having a constant also. Function may be a constant, function may be an exponential, or may be a sine or cosine functions. Trigonometric, not all trigonometric functions, only two sine and cos. If we want to go through the syllabus, in the syllabus they mention either a q of x may be having an exponential function maybe sine or cosine functions. Now, in all the cases, finding a particular integral uh, for uh, given formula depends upon what type of function. Suppose having exponential function, different method to find out uh, pi for exponential function, different method to find out particular integral. Suppose q of x is equal to sine or cosine functions. In this class, we are going to discuss, suppose the right hand side function means what is our general uh, formula uh, we consider from the beginning class, nth derivative of this, uh, a naught, uh, a one, n minus one derivative of y with respect to x like that, a n y equal to q of x. I taken here x is an independent variable. Suppose q of x is equal to some uh, exponential function k into e power of ax, where k is k, uh, k and uh, a, k and a are constants. Suppose uh, q of x are, means right hand side involving exponential function, how to find out particular integral? You know that how to find out cf. Up to that same in this case, only the extra thing is, suppose q of x is equal to any exponential function, how to find out pi? Suppose q of x, taken for uh, simply k is a constant into e power of x, where k and e are constant, how to find out? Keep in mind, it either may be exponential function or trigonometric, especially trigonometric in your course, they included only sine and cos. The formula for finding a particular integral is nothing but inverse of the differential operator. You know that f of t inverse of f of t. See, 1 by x is nothing but what? n x inverse like that. 1 by f of t is nothing but f of t whole inverse. That's why they are given in the syllabus inverse of the differential operator. Now, we are finding a particular integral with help of inverse differential operator. 1 by f of t into q of x. This is a formula for finding particular integral, either maybe exponential function, maybe a trigonometry function is sine or cos. In, in uh, other uh, uh, first semester stu students, they have uh, second semester students, they have in engineering, normal engineering course, how to find out uh, pi for uh, polynomial or uh, maybe a product of exponential to, into trigonometry function. 
in all the case this is a general formula for finding pi what's a formula for pi is inverse differential operator into q of x this is a formula suppose q of x equal to what's a function k into e power of ax where k and e are constant means suppose q of x is equal to some uh, exponential function then i to substitute what is my q of x is k to e power of x now i am explaining generally suppose q of x having a exponential function how to find out pi how to find out particular integral of the given uh, exponential function with the help of the inverse differential operator yes now observe carefully finding a particular integral of using inverse trigonometric uh, inverse uh, Uh, whatever differential operator depends upon the rules of the auxiliary equation first i have to write k is in the left side because k is a constant i'll keep it before the differential operator f of t e power of x pi for this is depends upon the rules of the auxiliary equation k into 1 by f of a with e power of a the condition is if this a what is a the quotient of x of exponential is not a root of is not a root of auxiliary equation yeah observe carefully first observe what's a quotient have in exponential suppose is uh, that a quotient is not a root what's a formula for this 1 by uh, k into just replace d by quotient value of x in the exponential that is a, a pi for a given exponential the condition is that quotient of x what is quotient of x in this case what i taken a a is not a root of the auxiliary equation keep in mind finding a pi for the exponential depends upon the roots of the auxiliary equation suppose if a quotient of x in exponential is a, is a is a root of means is one of the root it's a root of auxiliary equation then the formula for finding uh, pi is x divided by f dash of e into e power of x because why we are using that because a is a root of uh, auxiliary equation once you replace d by a definitely we get f of a equal to 0 1 by 0 is infinity because you now we are not expecting infinite value if you want to overcome what we are going to do add x in the numerator find out derivative of f of t we get f dash of t and then replace d by a means first you find out derivative of uh, f of t is f dash of t and then replace d by a that's all then uh, then definitely is not a not equal to zero we get some uh, non zero value suppose if a is a double root is a double root means is repeated the same root is repeated how many times two times of auxiliary equation in that case in suppose a is a double root means uh, is uh, repeated twice definitely this f dash of a is also equal to zero therefore in that case the formula is x square by f double dash of a into e power of a and so on suppose A is a triple root of the auxiliary equation. Definitely, f of a, f dash of a, f double dash, f double dash of a also zero. If you want to overcome, get the formula is k into x two by f triple dash of a into e power of x if a is a triple root. Double root. This is triple root. of auxiliary equation and so on now this is a way i to over, overcome to the infinity if triple root means f of a zero f dash of a zero f double dash of zero but f triple dash of a is not equal to zero this is a way i to find out particular integral suppose q of x having exponential function before move to the problem again i'm going to repeat suppose the q of x is equal to exponential function what's the general formula for finding pi for uh, based on q of x 
the inverse differential operator into q of x. So here q of x is k into e power of x is an exponential function. First you keep the constant outside. Before the operator or after the operator does not matter because k is a constant. Suppose now while finding a uh, p i first observe what's a quotient of x in the exponential. So that quotient is not a root of auxiliary equation. What we are going to do it now, replace d by the quotient of x in f of d. That itself is a pi for the given exponential function. Suppose that quotient is a one of the root of the auxiliary equation. In that case, we are using formula x divided by f dash of that quotient into e power of ax. Suppose that uh, quotient is a double root. What's the formula for that? x square by f double dash of that quotient, what you have taken here quotient is a into e power of x and so on. This is a way I have to find out particular integral for the exponential function. Keep in mind, thus finding exponential function or p i depends upon roots of the auxiliary equations. Okay. Now move to the uh, problem based on that. Solve the following differential equations. Solve the following differential equations. Okay. Yeah. First problem d square or uh, y by dx square. What are the problem I'm going to discuss? Uh, we already given in uh, one of the uh, uh, deep, uh, deep question paper only. Plus 2y equal to cosh 3x or cos hyperbolic 3x plus 3 power of x. Yeah. As usual, up to finding a CF, you, we already known that in the, we already solved how to find out CF in the homogeneous differential equation. Here also, first you express the given differential equation in terms of differential operator. Observe carefully here, dependent variable is y, independent variable is x. Therefore, d square y minus 3 into dy plus 2y equal to, and also independent variable is x, 3x plus 3 power of x where what is my d stands for differential operator is nothing but derivative with respect to x. What we are going to do in the next step, you already know that. We have to keep uh, y in the right, uh, right side, then we get a polynomial in terms of d. d squared minus 3d plus 2 into y equals cos hyperbolic of 3x plus 3 power of x. Now, First, try to write the auxiliary equation. You know how to write the auxiliary equation. Auxiliary equation depends upon replace d by m and then equal to 0. What we get actually m square minus 3m plus 2. Yeah, this is nothing but uh, is a polynomial degree 2. Not necessary to factorize, uh, go for synthetic method or anything. You have to factorize. Now, here the values of a is 1, b is minus 3. I told very clearly whenever having negative sign, take it along with that. This is minus 3 and c is equal to 2. What is my a? c is 2. Okay. Uh, yeah, 1 into 2. Then means I to multiply, we are expecting to add and subtract what we are expecting b value. What's the b value? Minus 3. Therefore, can also be written as 2 into 1. Yeah, multiply 2 into 1, we get 2, but add what we get 3. But what you want actually minus 3. B is minus 3. Therefore, what we are going to take? Minus 2, minus 1. You multiply that, even though multiplied, we get plus 2 only. Minus into minus plus 2, add, we get minus 3 because B is equal to minus 3. I told very clearly, when you go for factorization, AC value what we have get take any two factor that product must be give rise values of ac and some more difference that gives us the value of b satisfy this 
Therefore, what are the factors we are going to take? M square minus 2M minus M plus 2 equal to 0. Group uh, first to take common factor M into M minus 2. But observe carefully, here we get one of the factor M minus 2. Suppose you group these two, I have to convert M minus 2 factor, then easy to take common factor. Therefore, I am grouping these two. We don't have any common, but in spite of that, we are taking minus two out, minus one outside. Why we are uh, uh, taking minus sign outside? Because in the first term, you have m minus two. Suppose here also we get m minus two, then easy to take common factor. Okay. From this, what's a common factor? m minus two. What's the remaining in the first term? m minus one equal to zero. Now this implies we get two factors m minus 2 equal to 0 and m minus 1 equal to 0. Now what we get m is equal to 2 and m is equal to 1. We get now what uh, how many roots are expecting? Two roots because it's a polynomial degree 2. Both the roots are real and distinct. Therefore, you know how to write uh, CF. Okay. What is uh, CF is nothing but from the case A, what we discussed in the first class of differential equation, C1 into E power of 2x because independent variable is a C2 into E power of x. But here I want to find out Vi. But in the right hand side, what is my Q of x? Q of x is equal to cosh hyperbolic Vx plus e power of x. They have two terms. Better I to take this is one term and to this is another term and then take some that give rise p i for the right hand side. Means based on q of x. Now here first you find out the first p i of uh, first term of q of x p i 1. For my convenient I will take it uh, separately. Then uh, we have to avoid the mistake. What is the formula? 1 by f of d into cos hyperbolic px but you have you are thinking uh, here just now madam is explained what's a formula for finding particular integral for exponential but here they are having hyperbolic but you already know that they have a relation between hyperbolic in terms of exponential cos hyperbolic ax is nothing but e power of ax plus e power of minus ax divided by 2. Now, it's possible because uh, we have to express expo hyperbolic in terms of exponential. Why? Because we don't have a formula for finding a pi for a hyperbolic. But we know that hyperbolic can be expressed in terms of exponential. Why I express here? You, we know the formula for uh, exponential, how to find out pi for exponential. Therefore, what we are going to do here, uh, uh, now I am going to substitute what is my f of d. What is my f of d? d square other than y minus 3d plus 2. Okay, fine. Into uh, this can be written as e power of 3x plus e power of minus 3x divided by whole divided by 2. Now, instead of finding uh, both the terms together, better to take uh, the 1 by f of t into first term, 1 by f of t for the second term. Now, in both the term, 1 by 2 is a constant, keep it outside. 1 by f of t d squared minus 3d plus 2 into e power of 3x plus 1 by d squared minus 3d plus 2 into e power of minus 3x. Observe carefully in the first term. What's the value uh, in the first term? What's the value of a? The a value is three. In the second term, what's the value of a is minus three. But both three and minus three is not a root of auxiliary equation. The roots of auxiliary equations are one, one and two. Both three and minus three is not a root. Both are, are not uh, roots of the auxiliary equations. Therefore, what's the formula to find out uh, uh, e power of 3x and e power of minus 3x here? Just replace d by a. What is a in the first term? 3, 3 square minus 3 into 2. This is the first problem. That's why I'm writing all the steps. 
plus 2. Just replace 1 by f of a. Right. What is a here? 3 into e power of ax. And similarly for the second term, replace d by minus a. a is minus 3. Minus 3 whole square. 3 into minus 3. And then plus 2 into the corresponding exponential function. Simplify that. 1 by 2 of 1 by uh, 3 square. What is 3 square? Is uh, You know that the 3 square is nothing but 9. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 3 square is nothing but actually uh, 9. 9. Yeah. Just you simplify. I am explaining this. How to simplify. That's all. Yeah. 9 minus 6 plus 2. Okay. Then what we get actually uh, 5 in the denominator because 3 2s are uh, 6. Uh, observe carefully and then we have to proceed for this term. Now here what we get 3 square. What is 3 square is 9. 9 plus 2. What is 9, pl 9 plus 2 is 11. 11 minus 6. Okay. 11 minus uh, uh, 6 is nothing but 5. Okay, 11 minus 6 is nothing but what actually? 5. 9, my, 9 uh, my, what about uh, minus 6? Uh, yeah, I, I did mistake here. Yeah, what's the mistake I done? You observe carefully. I, I write it, you know, this one. What actually? Mm, uh, 2. I replace D by A. What is A? 3, sorry. 3 into 3, 9. What we get actually here? 9 minus 9. Okay. 9 minus 9 plus 2. What is 9 minus 9 is 0. What is remaining is 2. Please take carefully what I did mistake. Don't do that. Suppose you did definitely you are going to lose the mass. Okay. Into e power of ax. Well come to this. I have to simplify. Minus 3 whole square is 9. Minus into minus plus 9. Okay. Plus 2. Okay, now what we get actually, now here, uh, 9 plus 9, 18 plus 2 is 20. Okay, 1 by 2, 20 into e power of minus 3x. If we want to take 1 by 2 inside the bracket, what we get? 1 by 4, e power of 3x. 1 by 2, 2 is 440, e power of minus 3x. Now, please take carefully for... A re a replacing d by a. What is a here? 3 into 3, 9. Cancel, we get uh, 2. Okay, fine. I move to the next function. What's the next function? 3 power of x. Yeah. e i 2 equals 1 by f of d into 3 power of x. The, we have a confusion. Ma'am, this is not exponential function. How I to find out? How I to proceed? You already know that fundamental uh, thing in the diploma course also. You know that e power of log of f of x is nothing but f of x. Once you consider log in the mathematics, the base must be e e power of log of f of x is f of x. This formula, you know that. Now, this function, you can't write, uh, you can't find out uh, pi for this because just now I explained how to find out pi for exponential function. Therefore, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to express this function in terms of exponential. Means a power of x can also be written as e power of log of f of x. What is f of x? a power of x. Now you know that one fundamental formula log of a power of m is nothing but m log a, correct? Therefore, now this can also be written as x into log a means e power of log a into x. We get in the form of e power of ax. Log a is also constant. Instead of a, what you have log a? This is a way I have to proceed. Suppose they are given in the form of a power of x. This is just like a power of x. What is a here? 3. That's all. 
It's a way I had to proceed to find out pi for the given function. Keep in mind, you can't expecting always they give give in the form of direct function. Sometimes they may give exponential function. Uh, sometimes we will give uh, hyperbolic function for cos or sine hyperbolic. You first express in terms of exponential. Sometimes we will give the function is of the form e power of x. Therefore, from the fundamental formula, uh, what is my f of d is d square minus uh, 3d plus 2 into what actually uh, 3 power of x. What is 3 power of x is nothing but just now I explained in the right right corner of that uh, law e power of log of a what is a here 3 into x i think uh, this step is clear a power of x what is my a a is 3 therefore now uh, this uh, 3 power of x can also be written as e power of log of 3 power of x now what do we get e power of log 3 into x yeah now what is my a log 3? Log 3 definitely is not a root of the auxiliary equation. Therefore, what's the formula? 1 by f of a. What is my a from this year? a is equal to log 3. Okay. Now, what we get? Log 3 whole square. Okay. Minus 3 into log 3 plus 2 <coughs> into e power of log 3 into x. This is a uh, value of particular integral of which function? 3 power of x. Now I take sum of pi1 and pi2 that give rise pi. Yeah. Whenever having more than one term in a uh, Q of x, this is the easiest way I have to find out. You feel this involving more number of steps, but you have to avoid the mistake. Pi is equal to Pi1 plus Pi2. Here having two terms. Suppose having three terms, take sum of three Pi1, Pi2, Pi3 like that. What is the first uh, Pi1 is just now we calculated 1 by 4 e power of 3x. And then 1 by 40 into e power of minus 3x plus uh, 1 by log 3 whole square minus 3 log 3 plus 2 into 3 power of x. Okay. Now I have to write the general solution. What is my general solution? General solution of the given problem is what is dependent variable y? We are expecting solution of dependent variable in terms of independent variable. It's nothing but cf plus pi. Yeah, don't leave it cf plus pi like that. You must and should have to substitute. Otherwise, you are going to lose one mark in the exam. c1 into e power of 2x plus c2 into e power of x. If you want to write e power of x first, this is a one, a first root of uh, m is 1 and second root of uh, uh, m is 2, you interchange these two, definitely does not matter. Why? Because c1, c2 are constant. Plus, what is uh, pi is nothing but 1 by 4 e power of 3x plus 1 by 40 into e power of minus 3x plus 1 by log 3 whole square minus 3 log 3 log 3 plus 2 into 3 power of x. This is a way I have to find out the solution of the given problem. Suppose is a non-homogeneous differential equation. Yeah, up to finding CF, you know that how to do it, how to find out CF, you are already comfortable with, we already discussed last two classes. But how to find out PI? What's the general formula of PI I told? General form, uh, formula for uh, PI is, yeah, I'm showing that it can't uh, possible to show it uh, entire problem on screenshot. I'm showing the half of the problem first. You know how to find out CF. 
Uh, what's the general formula for PI is 1 inverse of the differential operator 1 by f of t into q of x. But here I have in two terms, therefore I'll take it uh, uh, terms separately, therefore I'll write it PI1 and PI2 like that. First I have taken a hyperbolic function, but we don't have a formula for hyperbolic. You have a formula for uh, uh, hyperbolic in terms of exponential. That's just now we discussed how to find out PI for exponential. Therefore, what we did here, first we had to express cos hyperbolic Px in terms of exponential using a formula e power of ax plus e power of minus ax divided by 2. With the help of that uh, formula, um, yeah, now we get two terms. Instead of finding both the terms together because both the a is not same. Therefore, what I did, I take uh, first term and also differential, inverse differential operator of the second term. Observe carefully in both the cases, the quotient of x is a is 3, another one is minus 3. But we already know that if we want to find out pi for exponential function, first you have to verify whether the quotient of x is a root of a auxiliary equation or not. Yeah, 3 and minus 3 are not a root of the auxiliary equation. If you want to add one point here, uh, for your reference, uh, not necessary here, 3 and minus 3 are not roots of auxiliary equation. Okay. Now, I have to replace d by a and then simplify it. Replace d by minus a. Minus a minus a, a is minus 3. Simplify that. And next, I want to find out what, uh, what is a pi for 3 power of x? Again, 3 power of x, you can't find out directly. Only we know that exponential. We try to express this 3 power of x in terms of exponential with the help of fundamental formula. What Which formula we use? d power of log of f of x is f of x. We already know that in linear differential equation, this point, the constant t theory is already explained. That, that implies what is my a power of x is nothing but e power of log of a power of x. Using the fundamental formula here, log of a power of m is m log a. Then from that, x into log a. A log a is a constant. Therefore, e power of log a into x. This is just like a what? e power of a. Yes. What is my a? a is log a. Therefore, 3 power of x can also be written as log 3 into x. Then uh, log 3 is not a root of the auxiliary equation. What's the formula? Replace d by a in f of d. Then simplify that. We get you take sum of pi1, pi2 that give rise particular integral of the given differential equation. Sum of ci and pi that give rise general solution. Why I'm writing general solution? Here we are not using any boundary conditions, still have unknowns. Therefore, this is nothing but general solution of the given differential equations. I think we were clear everyone how to find out pi for uh, exponential, uh, sorry, all. A hyperbolic function and also a power of x power. Okay. Now we are I'm, now I'm coming back in the next class. Few more problems uh, related to exponential uh, in the next class. Uh, then until that you practice these problems and come back. Thank you very much. Bye. See you and take care.